it's a mesh. Let me show you how to work with this. It's an amazing mesh. I wish I had this meshing technology so I could mesh my motorcycles. This thing looks great, but it's kind of a clunk. So let's just go over the basics of this and what do we have? What we have are We have a part studio with nothing in it. We have basically a scan. We have an, an assembly with nothing in it. And then we have some imported geometry. Let's go back to this. And let's start from the get-go. How this is done, it's a scan, so you really it's hard to control where it is. I don't like the location of this. And I want to create a spoiler for the back of this. So how would I go about creating a spoiler for the back of this car? If I hit Shift F7, to me, the car is not oriented properly. I would like the car to be going down Y, and Z is up. That's good. Let's clean this up. Let's uh, put this in the state. We did download this on the internet. I did make a copy of it, so this is now my version of an internet part that we got downloaded. The reason why we downloaded this thing is because it's just a terrific mesh. Let's clean it up. First off, I always like to work on an assembly, so I'm going to put that first. There's nothing in this part studio, so I'm going to delete it. I have this mesh. Typically, I have more than one mesh, so I am going to create a folder, and I'm going to call it meshes, or mesh, and I'm going to drag that mesh inside of there. And now this is organized, okay? I am still in this file, or in this tab, it's an element. This sketch, I can tell that somebody's trying to work on this, but he's not getting anywhere because working with meshes is kind of a difficult thing to do. Let me show you how to work with some meshes and get them working. Since this really isn't of any significance, I'm going to delete the sketch. I'm going to double click on this import. He chose to make the mesh into a composite. If the mesh was a bunch of different meshes, uh, making a composite would behave as one. I don't want it to become a composite because there's only one mesh. It's not a manifold because it's given me an error. Allow faulty parts. If you don't do that, you won't see the mesh. You're always going to get, it's because of the mesh. And it's failing back here. It's telling you, I can't solidify this with the rest of the model. So it's telling you that this mesh does not fit in with the rest of the mesh and therefore it cannot create a manifold out of this. Who cares, right? Source is Y equals up. This will flip it. We don't need to do that because it is oriented in the Z direction. I'm going to allow this instead, and it's computing it. Keep in mind that the composite changed the color, and then I have one mesh. Okay, If I had multiple broken up meshes, the composite would make it into one composite. I only have one mesh. This mesh is faulty, and it told me where the fault was. It was back here on this diffuser back here. I don't care because, you know, it's just a mesh. I'm just going to be working with this. So how do I orient this mesh? Um, the way that I like to do it is I want to see the edges. This is representative of mesh, and this is an amazing mesh. I wish I had this technology but I'm not willing to spend $50,000 for it. I'm going to create a curve. I don't like any of these curves. 
I wrote my own curve program. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish a curve from this vertex over to this vertex. And that gives me a three-dimensional spline, which is, if, what, two points. It's a curve. Curve with two vertices is a line. There are no lines in CAD, right? Everything's a curve. When a curve only has two vertices, then it becomes a line. In this particular curve, it will compute the midpoint. Okay. So let's continue on where we. So now I know where this mesh is located because of this vertex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a transformation. Transformations are a CAD terminology for moving it, translating it, X, Y, Z, and also rotating it, rotate X, rotate Y, rotate Z. There's six things you can do in space, six degrees of freedom. That's move X, move Y, move Z, and rotate X, rotate Y, and rotate Z. A transformation establishes the relationships between this location and that location, and it's the fundamentals to 3D CAD. So we're going to produce a uh, transform. These are different ways to control how do you move stuff in space. Uh, the easiest the way, way is to translate, translate stuff, stuff in space. space. The, most the most difficult, difficult is rotate in space. space. Rotates don't like translates, so rotates have to be done separately from the translates because you'll get unpredictable results when you start mixing them up. My favorite is transform uh, by main connectors. So let's just answer these questions. The instance, the, ent the entities that we want to transform. So I want to move the mesh, and I'm going to move it from a mate connector. Right now, it's having a hard time picking the curve as opposed to all the vertices. Oh, I just picked it. One way to get around that is just turn the mesh off. Now it's a lot easier to pick it. So when I pick the make connector, it assigned the origin of the make connector to be located at the midpoint of that curve, which should be the midpoint of the car. Then what I need to do is I need to orient this make connector. So I'm gonna go in and I'm going to modify attributes of this make connector that I'm creating on this curve. And I'm gonna realign it. And the primary axis, I'm going to assign to normal to the top. And then the secondary axis is the direction of the X. And I'm going to assign it to the right. And it didn't move. By assigning it to the top, it magically aligned X to the right plane to ensure that it is exactly X to normal to right, I defined it, because I don't know. It could be off by 0 0.0001 degree, and this forces it to be correct. With that being defined, now what I need to do is I need to say, where do I want it to move to? So I want it to move to the origin, and I'm going to click the origin. And I'm going to say, OK. And I'm going to show you the mesh. OK. We still have a problem. Uh, typically, when I do my transformation, I like to also take along the supporting geometry. It just seems to make sense. You can actually see the car move up. Okay. Now, one of the things that I need to do is I want to rotate the car simultaneously. 
So let's go back into this transform command. And, and I need to rotate one of these so that the car rotates. And this is locked into the coordinate system, so I don't want to manipulate this one. What I do want to manipulate is this one right here. So I am going to change this main connector. And instead of the orientation of this being that axis, I want to turn my planes on. So I'm hitting the P key to get my planes back up. And turn my mesh off. I use right. Let's see what happens if I say, oh, I want this to be oriented that way. This should update. Car should update. There it is. So. I put a curve in so that I could figure out where the midpoint of the mesh was. I established two mate connectors to allow me to take this mesh anywhere in space and assign it a location. What is this location? We can take a look at the top. We can take a look at the front. And we can take a look at the side. You could argue that, you know what, the ground should be the origin. And we could actually assign that. Control C this in. And the way that I would do that is I would come over to this transformation. I'd go back to my initiating make connector and with this make connector i don't want it to be on this line i want it to drop down and i'll paste that value i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be negative and we'll see that make connector should drop down and Oh, so this value's wrong. So let's go, let's undo that. So, so let's do this again. I want to know this to the bottom of that wheel. This is the distance, okay? So if I look over it, it's showing me, if I click on this, it'll show me the components of that. And this is what I should be. So if you click on it, Command C, I'm going to copy that. Go back into the transform command. I need to modify the main connector that I stuck to the mesh. And I'm going to translate it down and control V, paste it. This resolution is oops, two minus signs. And I'm going to say OK. Go to the right view. So now the ground is my datum. Car is centered. The tell for all of this is if I hit shift seven, that's to me a properly oriented uh, model to get to work on, okay?